The topic Dr. Biggs just talked about applies to nearly all cattle operations, regardless of their size. We head south now to Oklahoma City to look at a new exhibit on the art and nature of cattle ranching, commissioned by one of the largest ranches in the world. To the casual observer, the small spring at the center of this painting may seem inconsequential, but it is the reason the legendary King Ranch in Texas exists. The story is that Captain King came from Brownsville all the way to Corpus Christi, and the only fresh water he found was what became Santa Gertrudis Creek, which is on the ranch. And really the main source is the seep springs that is right on the ranch. The work is one of 34 currently on display at the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum in Oklahoma City in the exhibit King Ranch, A Legacy in Art. Noe Perez is the artist. And I'm primarily a landscape painter and uh, I have to go on location and do small format, you know, six by eight, eight by tens of the land and you know, you're rushed because the light is changing, all of the conditions are changing. So you have about an hour and a half tops to do something. And they're not necessarily finished works, they're really research to capture colors or light values and that sort of thing. That's what it took, along with thousands of digital photos, for Perez to paint these many scenes back at his studio, depicting such diverse settings. We see coastal lands, we see uh, brush country. Uh, there's really quite a variety in that within those 825,000 acres. Bob Canan was a longtime employee who is now a consulting historian for the ranch. And the landscapes are beautiful for people to see, but they have great meaning for the family and for the people of King Ranch because all of these, all of these subjects that we, that we uh, depicted in Noe's art are, are historically significant to us. The paintings took two years and are now featured in a new book. And to me, these oaks are just beautiful. I just love painting these things, so. Perez drew inspiration from his deep love of the land. Their whole livelihood really is about stewardship. Uh, they do all sorts of things to make sure that the grasslands, uh, wildlife and of course their livestock are really have the best conditions to thrive in so these ranches are, are really exemplary stewards of how, how to handle that land. Sam Fullendorf is a professor and researcher of rangeland ecology and management at Oklahoma State University. He's also a native Texan. What we really focus on is the land and, and the passion that ranchers have for land, both these ranchers and the ones that are here in Oklahoma, are, are, are basically unsurpassed by any other profession in the world. This is what they do, is they live on the land, they work with the land, and their relationship with the land is not just as a commodity, it's actually a part of their way of life. And of course, water is central to all of that. Basically, rangelands are, are almost entirely about needing water uh, because almost all rangelands are limited in the amount of water that they have. In fact, I remember hearing a, a rancher when I was in, a student say that the best way to describe their area is um, continuous drought interrupted periodically by a flood. And uh, I think that's pretty characteristic of a lot of rangelands. And that's one of the reasons it's amazing to see them thrive for so long is they basically figured out ways to do that. And these paintings uh, that fortunately we're able to, to share with, with uh, the state of Texas and now the state of Oklahoma, uh, they're, they're just a tribute to, to who we are and what our history is. Th this, this is not only a tribute to King Ranch, it's a tribute to ranching in general. And no better place to depict that than, than this beautiful museum. There's a beauty to be found there that, that few can appreciate and I hope to kind of you know highlight that a little bit through these paintings. Not only highlighting but bringing to life the glory of nature all of it humbly connected to a chance water source that became a lifeblood for many generations to follow.